This video is sponsored by Sony Handycam. Despite playing catch up, having a bigger screen similar with other competitors, and probably having the most boring smartphone operating system on board, the iPhone 6 is the only phone that everyone will talk, argue, love or hate about it. Is this Apple's best effort ever in its latest smartphone? Let's find out in episode 66 of Gadget Review. When Apple announced the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, everyone was overjoyed. Finally, there is a bigger iPhone. Of course, one can always argue that bigger screens were already on many devices out there. But the question here is, have they perfected the usability of the big screen? The iPhone 6 has a 4.7-inch Retina HD display with a pixel density of 326 ppi, which will not look pixelated at all to the user. Even if you compare it next to a 468 ppi HTC One M7 display that has the same screen size, you won't be able to tell the difference. If you are worried about one hand operation on the iPhone 6, you shouldn't be if you have large fingers. It is still very manageable and I can still type on the keyboard with one finger. And remember, iOS 8 supports third-party keyboards so you will be able to install alternatives like SwiftKey to ease the typing experience. It's common to see Apple introduce a whole new design to the iPhone in every two years. The iPhone 6 design now has more rounded corners and features an aluminum body design. The phone's body has a smoother surface this time which can feel a little slippery. Simply hit that protruding camera, just ignore it and buy a case to hide it away. In case if you are worried about band gate, it is extremely difficult to bend the iPhone 6 with your bare hands, so please don't be an idiot. Overall, I will have to say that the iPhone 6 is the most beautiful smartphone that I've ever come across this year. You don't need to believe me, just wait till it get released locally, head on over to an Apple store and I'm sure you'll feel the same way. First of all, I have to admit that I'm an Android lover and my last iPhone was the iPhone 4. I simply despise the iPhone because of its limited software flexibility. After 2 weeks using the iPhone 6 as my daily driver, I'm totally sold on it. The iPhone 6 4.7 inch display is just great. Viewing angles and color reproduction is fantastic. Thanks to the display's high contrast ratio, you'll be able to see the phone's display clearly under direct sunlight. iOS is still one of the most impressive operating systems that I've ever used. Even though iOS 8 may look slightly dated in usability, things like notifications widgets have solved my woes on iOS devices for not having a proper widget screen. The feature that I like the most is handoff. Handoff allows me to make phone calls from my iPad and Mac when all my devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. It's so convenient and reliable, so I don't need to have my iPhone with me all the time when I'm at home. There are also handoff apps on the App Store, so do check it out. Despite having only a gigabyte of RAM on board, the iPhone 6 doesn't feel sluggish at all. Switching between apps is seamless. The entire smartphone operating system is so optimized that you won't really ask for more. Touch ID is still the best fingerprint sensor that I've ever used on a smartphone, especially on a bigger screen iPhone. Unlocking the phone and purchasing apps with a tap of your finger makes things so much simplified. Siri also gets more intelligent this time and I use it every day for texting and calling my friends while driving and setting my alarm before going off to bed. If you feel your fingers can't reach the top menus, reachability on the iPhone 6 helps with that by just double tapping on the home button. Of course, iOS is still a very close platform and you can't do as much things as Android. But on the bright side, you get more quality apps and a reliable user experience. The iPhone 6 camera has the very same 8 megapixel resolution and f2.2 aperture as its predecessor. However, Apple claims that the iPhone 6 camera module is a whole new one. Pictures taken with the iPhone 6 turns out to be really favorable, with accurate color reproduction and sharp details. We have even tried taking photos in launch events and it works extremely well in low light, even using digital zoom to get our subjects closer. Head on to our post for more camera samples to believe it. The iPhone 6 doesn't support 4K video recording, and that's okay, because you do need to have it. 
video and sound recording quality is excellent on a 1080p resolution. You also get to have benefits such as continuous autofocus on videos and shoot extremely slow motion videos with up to 240 frames per second with the iPhone 6 camera software. The phone may not have a super high resolution 8 megapixel front facing camera. The FaceTime HD camera still takes excellent selfies with very minimal noise levels at 1.2 megapixels. Apple has bumped the iPhone 6 battery to 1810 mAh and it is still considerably small in today's standards for a 4.7 inch display smartphone. In my test, I will have to conclude that the phone's battery life is acceptable. I managed to squeeze one day of juice if I'm using the phone in a medium weight manner, such as browsing the web, Facebook, and listening to offline music on Spotify. However, when my chat group starts buzzing all the time, I can barely get through half the day on a full charge. Fortunately, the iPhone 6 charges up in 90 minutes from 0% with a 2M power bank, so I make sure I carry one with me all the time. Since I'm using an imported iPhone 6, network quality over the Maxis network is excellent. Callers reported crystal clear voice all the time, and I've never experienced drop calls. The phone's loudspeaker is also loud and audible for both voice calls and music listening. The iPhone 6 is one of the best smartphones that I've used this year. It doesn't get me worried about having a fast quad-core processor or the most amount of RAM on board. The phone works as it should and doesn't crash unintentionally like some Android devices. My iPhone 6 is the 128GB model so obviously storage has not been a problem for me at all. I can take as much photos as I like on a photo trip and store lots of music on my iPhone. This is the very best iPhone that Apple has made since the iPhone 4. The iPhone 6 will start retailing in Malaysia on November 6 from 2,399 ringgit for the 16 gigabyte model and up to 3,149 ringgit for the 128 gigabyte model. We give the iPhone 6 a score of 8.6 out of 10. Guys, that's it for the full review on the iPhone 6 and we hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you would like to support us, do click on the thumbs up button and click on the subscribe button down below or on the annotation right here. I hope that it actually works. So we hope that you've really enjoyed this video and do keep on continuing to support us. We might be a bit slow in reviews but please do continue to do so because we are growing our channel by introducing more content. So you will be surprised by what we are introducing in the next couple of months. So make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook and Twitter at KL Gadget Guy. If you prefer to read the review of the iPhone 6, do head on to klgadgetguy.com. The link is also down below the video description, so do check it out. Do check on camera samples as well as video recording samples from the iPhone 6. Next up, we'll be comparing the iPhone 6 with the Xiaomi Mi 4. I'm working hard on it and do stay tuned with me as I compare these two flagship devices. So I'm Warren with KL Gadget Guy and I will see you next time in our next upcoming video. That's it for now and have a nice day.